Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see QBD load, what is optimized QBD load and what is non-optimized QBD load. Before you go through with this video, I will strongly recommend you to go through video number four, where I have explained what is QBD, how to create it and video number 73, which will tell you how to load metadata of any QBD. In today's video, we will see how we can load QBD faster using the optimized QBD load. At the same time, we will understand what are the things we can do to make the QBD load as optimized, which is a faster load, and what are the things which will make our QBD load as non-optimized. So first of all, I will load a QBD where we have many records. So I will load this QBD sales order underscore new and I will give it name as a sales order and I will do the load. So when I load the QVD as it is means without doing any transformation, without adding any field name, without doing any calculation, anything. You can see that we are getting here a message QVD row base optimize. Right now only row base optimized QBD load is there in click, but I haven't heard about column based optimized load. In future, we might see this, but right now it is only row based optimized QBD load. So now you can see the QBD is getting loaded as an optimized load. We'll see how much time will it take and how many number of records are there. So you can see we have 247 million records and it loaded in around one minute. So I will recap again. QVD file format is a binary compact format which is storing a click table inside a file which is a QVD file. When you load the QVD in your application without doing any changes, without any transformation, with without adding any field, without any where condition, it is called as an optimized QVD load. And optimized QVD load is extremely fast. But as soon as you do any transformation, use the where condition, unpack record wise data, the load will become non-optimized and it will slow down the load. So we will see what are the things which will make our QVD load optimized and unoptimized. So whenever I am working on ETL where I don't have to create click objects. So say for my extract and transform layer where I am only doing transformation, I am doing certain joins, I am transforming my data, creating new tables and then storing those tables in a QED. Inside that type of application, I will make the variable create search index equal to zero. So what it will do, it will not create the search index of your column of your data. So whenever you load the application, make this search index as zero. Now you have seen that 247 million records took around one minute. So if I will write here something like say where close one equal to one. So now this load will become unoptimized load. When I reload this data, we will not see the message here row base optimized load. Instead of that, you can see that this load is unoptimized now. Compared to the one minute of optimized load, let's see how many minutes it will take to load the same QVD, which is now unoptimized or non-optimized. I will pause this video and then I will come back again when the load will finish. So now you can see it took around three minutes to load the same QVD where we have used where condition. So this QVD load is now non-optimized. Now I will not use the same QVD which is having 247 million records because the video will become very lengthy. So now we will see all our examples with a small QVD set. So I'm now loading this order QVD and I will load it again. 
So you can see now we have 4579 records and the QBD load is optimized one. We will see one by one what are the conditions which will make the QBD load as optimized and non-optimized. So optimized load and non-optimized load. So first thing we will see in optimized load is where exits. Right now we have data 4579 lines without any transformation. So it's a optimized QBD load and at the front end I have created a table. Say we are only interested in order ID A1 to A10 or A1 to A3. So if I will write down here where match order ID A1, A2, A3 and if I will load this application again then it's a non-optimized load. So that means using where condition. But say I want to load only three order IDs A1, A2 and A3 but still want to make this QVD load as optimized. Then what I can do here is I can create temp order ID load star in line and here I will say order ID A1, A2 and A3 and instead of where condition I will use where exits and I will say order ID. So when I do this it will be optimized QBD load and we will see only data of A1, A2 and A3. So that means where exits will make optimized QD load. But at the same time say I want only interested of order ID A1, A2 and A3 but for customer 1021 and 1022. Then what will happen if I will create another table here for the customer ID. Here I will say 1021, 1022. Okay, and if I will use multiple where exit, then this QVD load is non optimized. You can see now we don't have row based optimized load. So we have to do little correction here single where exits, but multiple where exits will make non-optimized QD load. Now we don't need all this. Okay, one more thing. This single where exits will make your load is optimized. But it will be optimized load only when you use where exits with the same field name. So say here we have order ID. In say we have ID instead of order ID then I, I have to write something like this to get the same result. So ID is ID is already loaded in the memory and this ID is now getting compared with the QVD order ID. So when I load this it will be non-optimized QVD load. So that means where exits with different field name. So that will also make your optimized load as non-optimized. Now I will remove this. Say this sales I want to consider as total sales and cost I will make is I will make it as a total cost. And when I load this you can see it's a optimized QBD low. So I can say alias of field names will still keep your QBD load as optimized load. Say I don't want to load this black field and now if I will load it, it will be optimized load. Means means omit field will also keep your 
load as optimized load say i want to load this quantity two times now what will happen it will be still optimized load now say i will load product id also two times it will be optimized load that means when you load load same field multiple times will make optimized load so i can load as many times as i want still make optimized load if i will add something i say one as flag and if i will load this then it will be non optimized load means adding a new field this will make your opt optimized load to non optimized load in say we don't have sales and cost information here i will remove this as well and say sales we know sales equal to quantity multiplied by line sales price line sales price and quantity multiplied by line cost price then this load is now non optimized so you cannot create a new field even with the use of existing fields that means create new field even using existing fields say i want order id and order date and time so if i will do mapping load okay and i will say map order date time and i am only loading this so say from a qvd you are creating a mapping table then this load is also non optimized load so using qvd in mapping load so that will also make your load as non optimized load now say i have a table for customer it will give you the name of the customer and country so customer table is there at the front end i will create a customer table as well so here here i will add a customer table now say i want to join these two tables so from the data model you can see that both the tables are joined by the customer id so what i can do here is if i will join customer table with this sales order table and say we are not doing any data transformation we are loading as it is so first of all let me load this and it's a optimized load yeah and now i will load customer qvd first and then join sales order with the customer table then both the qvd loads are optimized load so using the join with other table without any transformation so hope you understand that what are the things will make your qvd load is optimized qvd load and what are the things will make it non optimized load thanks and have a great day